I'm super honored to be the 112th most favorite jazz performer of Emmett Cohen. I almost made the top 100, but not quite. But I made the top 113, so I'm really excited. We tried. Yeah, yeah. No, we tried a couple Where's times. My microphone? We tried. We tried to get you on a few times. And you live in L.A., so I've yeah. been trying to get you to move to New York for a year now. Wow. And she's moving to New York for the first time. No? Wow. I, I live partly in Paris and partly in L.A., and New York is right, right in the middle, so. Everyone put your hands together for the marvelous Tierney Sutton. <laughs> and tenor saxophone from Montclair, New Jersey, that's Mr. Julian Lee. Los Angeles, California, the one and only Kyle Poole making his return. <laughs> and from Raleigh, North Carolina, that's Philip Norris. Raleigh, North Carolina. My mother's people are from there. Okay. Done. <laughs> oh, well, we, we want the key of, the key of love.
ago I did a trilogy of songs from My Fair Lady and I've said many times that I think My Fair Lady song for song is the greatest musical ever written and um, just song for song there's just so many songs that are great and that song I didn't even record so I've always wanted to do it yeah and we just did it and uh, I would love to do I've grown accustomed to his face which I think is one of the most beautiful love songs ever ever written I've grown accustomed to his face He almost makes the day begin I've grown accustomed to the tune He whistles night and noon His smiles, his frowns his ups and his downs A second nature to me now Like breathing out and breathing in I was serene independent and content before we met Surely I could always be that way again And yet I've grown accustomed to his looks Accustomed to his voice Accustomed to his face
gotten used to hear him say good morning every day his joy is his woes his highs and his lows a second to nature to me now Like breathing out and breathing in, I'm very grateful he is a man and he is so easy to forget. Rather like a habit one could always break and yet I won't. to the trace of something in the air a custom to So this is a, this is a, a Wayne Shorter tune. This is for Wayne. I'm sure we all had our little interactions with the great Wayne Shorter. I did several times, and he always said enigmatic and loving things. Enigmatic and loving things. So. Oh, 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 oh,
Kyle Poole. Do you think that's, do you think I've earned a ballad at this point? I don't know. I mean, you'd think. I don't know. Well, we could do diamonds. Okay, yeah, you said diamonds. This is one he, he really wanted to play. So. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. He's like, you, can, you had your ballad. You had one ballad. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds good. It sounds good. So, yeah, well. Okay, so, so diamonds. Oh, yeah, he's got a little thing on this, doesn't he? He invented a thing. You invented a thing on this one. The diamonds, or no? No, go ahead. That's all right. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Still inventing something on everything. It's all fine. So you set it up. This has some of the greatest lyrics ever written by the great Leo Robin. It's very politically incorrect. Extremely so. Kiss on the hand, baby, a quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss me grand, but it won't pay for rental on your humble flat, or help you at the auto.
goodness. It's kind of scary to be in the line of fire here. But the last verse is, is the best one. I've heard of affairs that are strictly platonic, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. And I think affairs that you must keep liaisonic are better bets. When little pets get big baguettes, time rolls on, and youth is gone, and you can't straighten up when you bend. But stiff back or stiff knees, you stand straight at canceled right there. <laughs> we may that that might be the end for all of us. What 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 what? What about what about some French? Don't you guys? Oh really really you, you do do you speak pre, you so you, so you you can Okay, you can you can make fun of my accent. You know, it's 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 very ironic because uh, the pianist in my band that I've been working with for 30 years, the great Christian Jacob is French. Uh, we're we're playing tomorrow night at Smoke with uh, with Randy Brecker plug and it, plug it. yeah, plug away, come come and see us. And um, so for 30 years, I've been teasing him about his accent in English, and now I'm speaking in French because my husband is French and I I go there all the time, and I say now it's his turn to make fun of how I speak French. But this is a very beautiful song which um, we know in English as I wish you love, but the French is. Very, very sweet and beautiful. In French, it's called Que reste-t-il de nos amours? What, what has become of our love? Of our loves. Ce soir, le vent qui frappe dans ma porte m'a parlé des amours Devant le feu qui s'éteint Ce soir C'est une chanson d'automne Dans la maison qui frissonne Et je pense au jour lointain Que reste-t-il de nos amours Que reste-t-il de ces beaux jours Une photo, vieille photo De ma jeunesse Que reste-t-il des billets doux, des mois d'avril, des rendez-vous, un souvenir qui me poursuit sans cesse. Bonne fête, chez vos enfants, baisez vos clés, rêves émouvants. 
Que reste-t-il de tout cela Dites-le-moi Un petit village, un vieux clocher Un paysage si bien caché Et dans un nuage le cher visage de mon passé Que reste-t-il 
de ces beaux jours Une photo, vieille photo De ma jeunesse Que reste-t-il des billets doux Des mois d'avril, des rendez-vous En souvenir qui me poursuit sans cesse Bonne fin Je vous ouvre Baiser vos lèvres Rêve émouvant Que reste-t-il De tout cela Dites-le Un paysage si bien caché Et dans un nuage le cher visage De mon passé And that, that's funny because that song in English, it's, you know, I wish you bluebirds and in July a lemonade, and it's all these happy, skippy, peppy lyrics. But in French, it's like uh, the, the bridge says, happiness that's wilted, uh, a hair in the wind, you know, dreams that touch my heart. What has become of all this? Tell me. And then the, the end is like a, a, the, the very last line says, and in the clouds, the sweet face of my past. I mean, it's like really, it's really, really sad. So you, you can't, it's like, you know, uh, my life is horrible and it's bad and everything was really nice. And you know, it just doesn't, you're like, you can't do that, in, you know, in French, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but yeah, but then if that's jazz, then you just take it. But then they brought it back. So that was, that was a great kind of. How about this guy? Woo! <laughs> How about how about um, uh, L O V E? I, I think I think we're ready for that. And then and then maybe after L O V E, you can you can you can have some some instrumental fun without my without the, the chick singer. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I mean, but they seem the like boss. they're having. They do seem like they're having fun though. You're the I boss, do, Tierney. I do see. You're the boss. No, 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 no. <laughs> how about for Tierney Sutton? Merci. Merci bien. We, just, we would just like to take one minute to thank our sponsors tonight, Kathy and Bruce Briggs. Thank you for sponsoring tonight, making this possible. Uh, it's always a, uh, a pleasure to be able to work with people around the world to make this happen. I know you're watching somewhere probably in New Hampshire or Maine right now, and we love you very much. And we'd also like to thank our sponsor, Drink, Bimble. She's got some CBD. We have, but, CBD? What, what, well, uh, yeah, I think I can't drink this, but, but okay. <laughs> I, I, I definitely can't you drink can this before home. setting up this next song, because <laughs> the, the tempo would, would go. Uh, yeah. Once again, Kyle Poole on the drums. <laughs> Phil Norris on bass. <laughs> Julian Lee, special guest on saxophone. Bang, 
It's for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the only one I see. V is very, very extra ordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore can love. It's all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. And the two in love can make it take my heart. And please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. Mm -hmm. Hell is for.
and I'm going to listen to you guys do your thing. I'll be back. Tierney Sutton, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone. Thank you. This next composition is by... Uh, a wonderful person to us all and the patriarch of a family we all know very well, Mr. Ellis Marcellus. This is entitled 12's It. We hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Emmett Cohen, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, we forgot about that. <laughs> and uh, Bill said it's that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys told me that they don't play a lot of things in seven. Well, not here at this house. But. At here at this house, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you do, but but here at uh, live at Evan's place. So I, I thought maybe we we do one. I love Paris in the springtime. I love Paris in the fall. I love Paris in the winter when it drizzles. I love Paris in the summer when it sizzles. I Tell me why do I love Paris? 
was like a 7-4 Montuna. Montuno or something like that. Montu Montuna. Mont a Montuna. I want to have a moment with Mr. Mr. Emmett Cohen, the master of ceremonies. And we're going to remain in Paris for just a moment. And I'm going to do um, two songs that got married in a record I did dedicated to Joni Mitchell a few years ago. And I've recorded this set of songs twice now, once with my husband on guitar on my last record, Paris Sessions 2, but the first time was with the great uh, Larry Goldings on piano on my Joni record, and I'm really excited to do it with Emmett. This is two songs you know, but you don't know them together. Chestnuts in blossom Holiday tables under the trees
We're gonna what, what, what sure. Yeah, we can try it. Yeah. Do you want me? <laughs> I'll say we're gonna move from Paris into autumn. Just give me a G minor chord. Do 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 do.
the falling leaves drift by by Because, because the, you even have a B flat part on this, which just it, 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 there was there was it confused him because we gave him nothing, gave him nothing, nothing. And this is this is this is a song I've never sung before. But I thought, hey, let's you know let's do something I've never sung before. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous song. It's called Autumn Serenade. And uh, yeah, like that. Uh, well, why don't we start it? Start it out, rubatoed, and then and then they'll come in because they're musical and stuff, and they know what to do. I trust them. <laughs> trees comes autumn with her serenade melody is the sweetest music ever played autumn kisses we knew our beautiful souvenirs Thank you. 
So this is our this is our grand finale. Is that right? Yeah. It's the grand finale. Well, there's a road map that tells you a little bit of what's happening. You'll see. You know, it's right in front of you. That, yeah, that's it. That on the One more time, it's Julian Lee on the saxophone. <laughs> Kyle Nathan Poole on the drums. I gotta say, we haven't seen Kyle in a couple of months, and uh, it's good to have you back, Kyle. We've missed you. Yeah, this is kind of a love <laughs> fest going on here. Don't forget about the third of the triangle here. That's Mr. Philip Norris. <laughs> and the one and only, the beautiful, wonderful, masterful Miss Tierney Sutton. I'm the 112th favorite. Musician. We just saved the best for last. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> um, we'd like to also thank our sponsors one more time, Kathy and Bruce Briggs. Thank you so much for tonight. We really do appreciate it. And everyone who donates and supports us uh, for the last three years, we really do appreciate you tuning in and watching. We'd like to thank Mr. Alex Whites on video design. <laughs> Mr. Calvin Grant on the sound. And uh, we'd like to thank our sponsor, our sponsor drink, <laughs> Bimble. Oh. And I think that's all the announcements. We're going to play you home with... Uh, well, with some, uh, some Joni Mitchell material, um, uh, some Annie Ross material, some Charles Mingus material, and some Wardell Gray material. And it's all related to That's the blues. A lot of material. It's a lot of material, <laughs> but you'll, you'll see. You've you've heard it all. You've heard it all before. You've heard it all before. Yeah. So, and we we will rely on uh, Mr. Kyle Poole to set up a a great funky little space for me to sing over. You know that. Though. You know he will. <laughs> right. 
told you. I'm down to a roll of dimes. Talking to slap that's hot. I can keep bells all around me. Jinkas and the lucky jackpots. They keep it gentle like ice. They keep you reaching for your wand. They hear in fool's paradise. I talked to a cat from Des He said he ran a clean act. That cat was clanking with the coin. Well, he must have had a genie, you know that. Cause every time I drop the dime, I'm too ready to get breaking bells. Nothing to it. He got three oranges, three lemons, three cherries, three plums. I'm losing my days for fruit. Watch out the dry cleaner do it. I'm my best in a polyester suit. It's all luck, it's just luck. You get a little lucky and you make a little be better dead than alive. I didn't listen to his jive. I knew all along that he was all wrong, and I knew they thought I was crazy, but I'm not. Oh no, I don't 
Rose told me that I was spread out on my head. He said I need treatment, but not that easily led. He said I was the type that was most inclined when out of his sight to be out of my mind. And he thought I was nuts. No more ifs or ands or buts. Well, they say as a child I appear to leave the wild with all my crazy ideas. But I knew it was happening. I knew I was a genius. What's so strange when you know that you're a wizard at three? I knew that this was meant to be. Well, well, I heard little children were supposed to sleep tight. That's why I drank a fifth of vodka one night. My therapist got frantic, didn't know what to do. But I saw some crazy scenes before I came to. Now that you think I was crazy, I may have been only three, but I was swinging. They left the tea, Greg and Phil. They left an Edison, but also an Einstein. So why should I feel sorry if they just didn't understand the reasoning of the logic that went on in my head? Thank you. 